Okay, show you guys how to do a dynamic high pigeon hip stretch. What you're going to need for this exercise is you need a box or you need a bench or some elevated surface that you can put your leg on. At first, I'm going to show you a front view and then I'll show you a lateral view. So as you go through this exercise, you want to start by placing your foot up on top. You're going to turn it on its side. Now keep in mind, you don't need this surface super tall. I'd rather you get lower than higher. So from here, what you want to do is you want to lean forward. And then you want to try to bring this knee down to the box. Now, the way I bring it down to the box is my back leg here. I want to slide it back. I can twist it. I can hop it, slide it, whatever is the easiest. So I want to get down to this position here. Now, this is an advanced stretch, um, and there are other ways that we can build up to the stretch if you're not here yet, but this definitely gives you a good challenge. So this is the key. We want our leg in a 90 degrees uh, position. We want our foot parallel with our knee, or basically we want this in a straight line here. As we make this a dynamic stretch, so what I'm doing, this is static. So I'm just sitting here and I'm holding the stretch. If I want to make this dynamic, so if I'm doing this before a workout, I want to start by turning my hips in this position towards my knee and I'm leaning forward and I'm leaning back. And I want to push with my hips. I don't want to just dump my torso. So I don't want to just go through a push up. I want to lean with my hips and come back. So I want to keep a straight back. Um, we have this direction, then we also want to go forward. So keeping this down, we're leaning forward, leaning back forward, back, do that about five times. And lastly, this is the hardest one. We want to turn to the side and we want to go towards the foot. So we're leaning, coming back, leaning, coming back. And I want to try to keep that knee down as best as I can. So showing you guys from a side view, just show you what it looks like. We're going to have this foot down, hop that back or twist it back and be here and then going through these as well. So you can see my back is staying straight. I'm not just dumping down. I'm not just dumping my back. I also want to lean to the side. I'll get some that direction and then this direction as well. So I'm leaning off to the side here. Now, if you do this correctly, guys, your hips should be screaming. It's a really great hip stretch. It is an advanced stretch. Uh, if you're unable to do that, you can always do a pigeon stretch from the ground. One of my favorites called a good ass pigeon. You're going to start off in a quad stance, stretch the leg, come up, and you can also rock down. That's another way you can dynamically stretch the hips which I also have another video on on the breakdown. So try out both variations, guys. Let me know what you think.